we're going to go to the place where all of our desires are. And that's what we're going to do today. And, and, but before we get there, we're going to um, really understand what is our desire, and specifically our financial desire, and probably dealing with real estate, but it can deal with just money in general. So the path to financial abundance is a blank path. What type of path? Any idea? Happy path? Happy path? You're right, right on target. It's a happy path. And I love that. It is self-directed. It's a self-directed path, that's correct. And so in what way do I self-direct myself? Thoughts. thoughts, and then my thoughts impact what? Feelings. feelings, my feelings, my feelings. They do impact my thoughts, do impact my feelings, but um, that just comes from when I'm thinking good feeling thoughts, I then start aligning myself up with my source, and all of a sudden the perfect thoughts come to me, the perfect events, circumstances, relationships, people, but also the perfect action. So the path to financial abundance is an emotional path. Most of us think, oh, it's a path. On what do I need to do today? How am I going to get money? How am I going to get a referral partner? How am I going to do that? That's not the path. That is the path, path to the most resistance. That what you want to do is look for the path of least resistance. And the way to do that is to emotionally feel good about a topic, and in this case, financial abundance. Now, you know, we talked about before on, we have this just awesome ability to be able to pick any subject that we want. And whatever subject that we pick and choose and start thinking about it with our conscious mind, that becomes dominant over everything. And by everything, I mean our beliefs, our current beliefs. I can take any subject and start thinking differently about it, and that changes my belief on it. So it also is more powerful than my subconscious mind. We've been, given, been giving away our power to, oh, but the past, you know, I was brought up this way, or I'm that way, or I'm not very good in this, or whatever we, we are saying. Or, wow, I must have some psychological problems, subconscious you know, issues, and, you know, and deep embedded beliefs that won't make me do that. All that is hogwash. You're giving away your power to the past or to your subconscious. The fact is, you have all the power right here and right now. So we like to talk about on how the subject that we choose. So in your mind, you can choose whatever subject you want. And so we, we relate that to, it's like picking a cup, our subject, OK? So here our cup is. And as Laura mentioned, oh, it's a green cup. Is that right? Is that who mentioned that? Was it Laura? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, oh, it's a green cup. And yeah, a green zone. That where I am being deliberate in my thought about what I want. So I take this subject, and the subject is financial abundance. And I want to take this subject, and I want to fill it, not all the way by any means. I, don't, I just fill it, and let's call these diamonds. These are real diamonds, by the way. That we take these diamonds and, and imagine them as thoughts. And what we do is we take good feeling thoughts. So financial abundance. What are some good feeling thoughts? that you think, make sure you give that real diamond back to me. What are, what are some of the, um, a good feeling thought about financial abundance? Who has a, an idea of what might be a good thought might be? Freedom. Freedom, yeah, you know, financial. I love being financially independent, maybe we could say. Okay, I love being financially independent. I love earning, uh, allowing lots of money to come in and, and because that provides me freedom. Freedom for what? What does it give me freedom for? I, I'm sorry. And wow, everybody just kind of went like, whoa, yeah. OK, we'll go time. So I get freedom of time with money. I get? Condo, debt. Yeah, I get things. I get, yeah. So um, when I have money, it can help me do, be something that more that I want to be. It can help me do something that I otherwise couldn't be or have something. So the have something is, yeah, it can give me 
All the things that I've desired. Okay, good. What was yours? I was going to Where say it? it gives you um, freedom of choice. Yeah, freedom because, of choice. I mean, you can choose not just what you do with your time, but you can choose, you know, what you do with your life. Yeah. Yeah, so freedom of choice. And, and then, you know, you think, wow, yeah, what kind of freedom? So we just get into that one word, freedom. And, oh. That, that, that freedom feels good. And I have freedom of choice. I have um, freedom of variety, right? That I can have more variety with this financial abundance. I can have this. And so we just keep on thinking thoughts, good feeling thoughts, and we fill up our cup with just, a, 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 and again, only partially, we fill up our cup with these good feeling thoughts about, in this case, the subject is financial abundance. And what's some other things about financial abundance? What are some other things that we can say about financial abundance? So it provides us freedom, freedom of choice. It provides us um, uh, uh, things that we, uh, things to have. It provides us time, you know, we can uh, hire other resources to do the work or whatever the case be. Then, then what else? I really want you to get into this. What else does, does, does uh, financial abundance provide you? It gives you whatever you deem of value so that when that, if what you value is a contribution to society, you now have a That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yep. I was yep. going to say, it's, in a, it's another way of saying what you said. It makes you more of whatever you already have. Yeah, yeah. So, um, makes me more. Let's see. It, it also brings peace. Yeah. Peace. Because you have the ability to do that. Because that's a big factor in stress and worry. That's because beautiful. In illness or whatever, because mm -hmm. it's a hospital, it's whatever, whatever. You can get the best treatment, you can get mm -hmm. the best of everything, you can have yeah. the best of everything. Yeah, it brings me peace. Yeah. It gives you uh -huh. limited control. Of, uh, 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 what was the word? Limited. Control. Limited? Well, when I say limited, I mean, you can't control others, but you can control, it gives you control of okay. your life. Yeah. So, you have limited control because let's say that you know you bought a yacht with your financial abundance uh -huh. and you want to go sell your yacht over here, but the Coast Guard says no, you can't come in this area. Yeah. So that's limited. Okay. Like okay. Yeah. And and I'll just say it, it it provides me more control and kind of the things that I want. There are some things that I I um you know, well, kind of can't control. Really, we can control everything, but that's a little bit deeper. But I hear what you're you saying. Know, yeah, yeah. But those things, see, see, and and so let's take up that that thought about, oh, the patrol won't let us go in that area. That if we start thinking, when I buy a yacht, and that I can't go in all the areas because of the patrol, you're going to run into all kinds of patrols. <laughs> okay, so it's what we don't want. We're we're the attractors of literally every th moment of our day. We're attracting either by default or deliberately, and so if I'm thinking of something like patrols, they're going to start coming to me. One one of the things it does is it allows you to begin a legacy for your family. Awesome, awesome. See, now you're getting emotional where that hits me, you know, that, oh, man, I love that. Like Tim went, yeah, you know, that, and that's where you want to get with your thoughts is you want to start selecting these thoughts that really make you feel so legacy for, for my family. And remember, each one of us have our own experience. So that may really turn you on or that may not interest you. 
doesn't matter. You choose what it is. But all you have to do is, if you know if it interests you, is check your feelings. Hey, I've, and when I feel good about a feeling, I say, oh boy, I'm going to write that down. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down. Legacy for my family. What's another reason that financial abundance, what are some good feeling thoughts for financial abundance? It what gives me, yeah, it gives me a voice. And it gives me a voice for what? Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 And so that's great. So then you want to be, and you can be as specific as you want, as long as you're still feeling good about it. Okay. And so that that if you say, oh, I love the fact that I can give my money away and help the starving children in the world, then that's fine. You know, whatever your desire is that 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 makes you feel good. Now, if you start putting in a desire, and you say, um, you know, like let's say. Um, well, I want to help cancer, uh, the cancer effort, but I realize that if I put more focus on cancer, people are going to start thinking about cancer and then they're going to start attracting cancer. So I really don't feel very good about that. So then you don't include that, that, that thought. That's getting too specific on what you're going to do with your money. And so then you want to get back to general good feeling thoughts. Again, stay general and just get specific as you start going through this and the law, good morning, Tisha. And as the law of attraction starts attracting more thought. So it gives me a, a, a voice to, and I'm going to say share my desires. Your de desires are to mainly were uh, in the category of helping other people. And remember, the best way for you to help other people is for you to thrive. When you thrive, the whole world thrives. When you struggle, the whole world struggles. Okay, so that's the number one. So this is just, uh, the financial abundance is just a mode in order for me to thrive. Okay, that's just a, it, that's a, a demonstration on me thriving. The prize, remember, out of all this is joy. And what does that mean? Basically feeling good. I do all of this so that I have a feeling of feeling good. The philanthropist that gives away money, they're giving away money yeah, they're helping other people, you know, whatever. But they're doing it because they feel good. Okay, so I'm doing everything. The reason why I'm I want financial uh, uh, abundance and financial independence is because I want to feel good. It brings me feelings that feel good. What kind of feelings? Well, it gives me a, a feeling of freedom. It gives me a, fr a feeling of choice. I have more choices. I like that. It makes gives me a feeling of being satisfied. I love that. I love that. I'm so satisfied. It um, it, it makes me um, uh, it makes me realize that I am indeed the creator of my experience. As you demonstrate, as you start to demonstrate, you're going to start realizing, wow, now what's so funny on that? That's <laughs> my line. I want, I want roles for you on my line. What, the creator of my experience? <laughs> yeah. OK, um, creator of my experience, the first time I ever, ever heard it was uh, from a uh, channeling of Seth, S-E-T-H. And he was back in. Uh, or it was back, whatever, back in like the 60s. <laughs> but Bradley wants to take credit for it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes, sir. Burger King, they give you a crown. Yeah, yeah, and you can have it, and actually, I'll give you. I'll give you a diamond. I was going to say it yes, also sir. gives you the opportunity to have an influential uh, power in your community and your community yeah. environment. Yeah, yeah. So I can influence others. And again, if that is is something that that is one of your desires that makes you feel good, that wow, I can influence positively. 
others. When you're in the vortex, or when, when you're in this feeling of feeling good, that um, your only ideas are good, godly ideas. Okay, so you don't have to worry about the oh boy, I wonder if I'm gonna, you know, think like if I get money, if I'm gonna want to imprison a bunch of people. You know, you're not gonna think that. That you're gonna think these good, wonderful things because you understand it, that all these things that we're saving, we are right now. We so state it and believe it. And so we, and we can start you know, on that. And again, how do I start? And that's getting into this place where you're feeling good and then you'll get the perfect thoughts for your perfect path. Okay? And your path can be anything. In this case, it's financial abundance. And it's an emotional, see, more money. More money's coming. That they just keep on pouring more money in. That, that money keeps on uh, coming in. And that's how it works. That money just flows into you when you allow it in. So catch this. Remember we have shared that there's only one stream that flows. It's the stream of good, of God, of abundance, of well-being, of joy. It all is flowing all the time. In essence, we really don't need to do anything because it's already flowing to us. But what we have done is used our analytical minds, and instead of identifying what subject I want and the good feeling thoughts in there, and then allowing the universe, God, all there is to fill your cup, which will then overfill, your cup overfilleth, that what has happened is we use our mind, we say, oh, well, you know, I can't, we stop it. We do, we, we have an emotion called resistance because we have the free, and you may say, well, why God do that? And well, what, the way that it works is that we have free choice. And so we can choose whatever we want, and that we should just look at when we see a, contra a contrast, something we don't want, we just say, oh, I don't want this. Resist no evil. That's what Christ said, right? Resist no evil. Oh yeah, that's what I don't want. I love you, you know, you're great. Thanks for letting me know what I don't want. And then I'm going to go to what I do want, the cup. What I want, this, I want abundance. And I'm going to now allow abundance into my life. And so we have this emotional grid where, so financial abundance can be that is like a good thing, right? Good positive thing. So that, that emotion of financial abundance and that, uh, that emotion reflects, as you know, we said, like peace and choices. And so that means freedom and, and you know, all these things. I get joy out of helping, you know, with this money, helping other people, whatever. And, and this all comes to me naturally when I allow it. However, what we have done is we've gone beyond identifying our subject and what we like on it, that we identify a subject and say what we don't like about it. Okay? And all the time. So think just today, can anybody think where you caught yourself on I'm I'm resisting this because the so you know, here's kind of like the 50% line, okay? And this is when you're allowing above it, below it, is when you're resisting. What resisting thoughts have you had today? All of that is that, that we have resistance, and this little 21-year-old girl, she doesn't have any resistance whatsoever. That life is just fine for her and wonderful, and she's the most angelic, loving person you'd ever want to meet. And that's because she understands that how life works. And that what she does is she picks any subject on what she wants to be or whatever, and she says what she wants to be and not the opinion of what other people think is the appropriate answer of that, okay? She then puts in pleasant thoughts. She did not say one negative thing. I asked her about this other church that I knew she was a member of, and, and, and they preach pretty much, you know, like there's this devil and there's all kinds of bad stuff and everything. And so, you know, I didn't last long there. And, uh, and I said, what did you think of that? And she goes, oh, it was a wonderful path for my, uh, a, 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 my spiritual journey. In other words, you know, she really was saying, you know, I'm thinking like, yeah, you thought the same thing I thought. It sucked, you know, but she wasn't going to be saying 
something that, that you know, she just went, oh, I just love my journey and you know, where I was. Because she has these good feeling thoughts about virtually every subject. Now think about a subject that you don't have good feeling thoughts on. Because that weighs you down. That weighs you down and that puts you, like, you know, on your average on where am I in my feelings that, that, um, that if, if a lot of my subjects that I'm thinking about often are negative, that I'm, I'm going to be basically sitting here fairly unhappy. So if you're thinking about anything, so let's take the babysitter. That if Tim continues to think that babysitter, she's got a big mouth that I can't believe she squealed on me. She better not squeal on me anymore. That you know what's going to happen? That babysitter is going to be nagging him and, and putting him right into here. He is giving away his power. And we all give away our power to something negative. I'm telling you, you this morning said something like, gee, I hope I'm not late. And that puts a negative emotion of late in there, OK? Did you think that today, Tim? Of course you did. <laughs> no wonder why you're living in hell, man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that, um, that, uh, but all of you might have said, uh, or some of you said, oh, I hope there isn't a lot of traffic. And then you get a lot of traffic, OK? That, gee, uh, you know, whatever, that um, I, I hope this, this uh, uh, my closing, uh, you know, goes smoothly. But but the words aren't what's important. What's important is the emotion you're putting behind that. So if I say, God darn, I hope that uh, this closing's going to be good and not like that bad one that I had last week, what do you think you're going to get? You're going to get a bad closing because you're vibrating. The communication to God is in source, and all there is is the communication is with your feelings. And so you got to be very careful on what you're saying, but more so on, I care more so of not what other people's opinion are, but about what my feelings are. So in Tim's example, that he has to start seeing her differently, that, that you can see any person, any person that's alpha to the omega, they're good, bad, they're, they're uh, happy, sad, whatever, they're, squeal they're squealers, or they're not, and they're real kind, loving people. They're angelic people, or they're the devil, OK? However you want to look at a person, they have it all. And you're the attractor, and you create what you want to see in your experience. And so you take a look, and you take a look at that babysitter, and you never think another bad thing about her. You say, oh, it's so great to have a babysitter that's concerned about everybody's well-being. And I just love that she's so convenient and two doors down. Think of positive things about any subject and start thinking about it, and it's going to turn on you. It's going to change to your vibration. And so I have to get into this state, into this positive, allowing state, before I'm ever going to realize anything. So specifically, how am I going to have it? I'm going to use the number 700,000, but you do whatever number you feel comfortable with. But I would suggest that, I, in fact, I'd like each one of you right now to write down the amount of business that you're comfortable, that really feels good and you believe can happen. You, you're not going to share this or anything, but I want you to write down how much every month that you can see yourself doing right now. And, and to include your business, OK? So I want you to write down, hey, this is how much I really feel comfortable. And Randy, you're, you're part of that, too, that, uh, you know, on, uh, on, on being an agent also, right? So, so uh, you know, put that. But just write down how much you're comfortable. Maybe number of homes, maybe dollar amount, maybe both. Um, and maybe, you know, instead of selling, maybe you want to use a softer word, like helping. You know, I want to help three people buy or sell their home each month. You know, but whatever is realistic to you, what you believe. Because I want you to hold that thought. That's your cup now. We got your cup more specific. The first, we originally started with financial abundance. Okay, Now, financial abundance comes in many different forms. 
We're just getting specific on one way you're going to receive money into your checking account, and that's through real estate. Okay, there's many other ways and open yourself up to winning the lottery or whatever you want to. You allow it. This life has everything. God has given you everything. We have just thought negative stuff, restricted it, and because of history, because of what the statistics say, and that's only because of what present people what people in the past have thought and what you've thought in the past, that's where our averages come in. It has nothing to do with econ how the economy is or anything. It just has to do with what your belief is. I know people that, uh, in fact, we're working with an investor right now at Wingspan, and um, that company was a no, there was no company like four years ago when the recession started, and they're now a billion dollar company. And there's one guy that was responsible that did that because he had in his mind and he had the belief that he could build an empire and he did. And he's got like three buildings all right in the Addison area. One just huge, they got security guards and everything else. And he's no uh, more special than you or I. All he did was identify his subject and then put good feeling thoughts about that subject. And then the universe filled in the rest of the cup. And then his cup really overflows just like your cup can overflow it. Okay, so with that in mind, so, so now we've gotten from a general cup of abundance to that this is how much, and again, I'm gonna share, say, state that I, I sell more than $700,000 of real estate per month, okay? And then I start with good feelings, good thoughts about that. So what are some good feeling thoughts about that specific subject? Why does that, feel good to you? Why do you like that? What good feeling thoughts can you now put in the cup of selling at least $700,000 of real estate? Great. So that's what happens on, there's a perfect example on, on uh, how we, we take a subject and we just fill it with these good thoughts and then the universe, you let the universe take over and you just go on your merry old way. Joy shop, 15, 20 minutes a day, that's all you need to do. <laughs> so, so here's, here's how to, to, um, to help yourself with that. That whenever you are getting, you, normally it's when you get negative thoughts, is you start thinking about the how, number one. Oh, well, how could that happen? How could I get three lists, eight, oh, I could, you know, all that. And normally I'm getting too specific. So right when you get a negative thought, you go, oh, I'm taking the leap of faith. Okay, I'm going from from doubt, and I am taking a leap of faith, and I believe in God, I believe in the universe, I believe I am the creator of my life, and that I take that leap of faith and I decide I am going to just uh, uh, state what I want and why I want it. And I'm going to, and I then believe, and when I get to that point where I believe it, it has, the universe has no other choice and wants nothing more than to deliver it to you because that's what you're communicating, what you want. You are getting what you want all the time. And if you don't like it, it's because what you're doing is going into that committee thoughts. And so, so go general. Think of go general. When I start the committee thoughts, I'm going to go general. And so what does that mean? Okay, so we'll use the example of, of the listing. So Tiersha says, oh, you know, I, I, I heard Randy talk about, so the thought comes because she was thinking about uh, uh, over $700,000 of real estate, and she believes it now. She was one of the people that believed she could sell that because she started say, uh, getting a thought. She said, yeah, I really like the $700,000. And then she said, oh, Randy mentioned that, you know, listings was easy. Wow. I like listings. Listings are really fun. Wow, I can get more people that way. Now, if she starts getting specific on, wow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. My hubby is going to be really mad with all the time that it's going to take and see if you think it's going to take time, then it is going to take time. And she can change the hubby by saying, hey, he's going to just be supportive and love what I'm doing. And that's what I want to see from him. And when you believe that, when she believes that, she'll start harmonizing, vibrating right to that. And her frequency will be lined up with God with what she wants. And she'll only attract into her life the good, supportive hubby, the listing, 
things, et cetera. Okay? So then you just, so she gets starts talking about, oh, it's going to take too much time. Whoop, get general. Wow, I love these listings. I love the money that I can do. So go back to being more general. And if you can't, it, it, like if you're stuck, then really go general and say, you know what? I'm just so happy that God loves me that I made in the image and likeness of God. You know, just go real, real general. I'm so happy that I have all the angels that I want that provide a path of least resistance for me. I am so happy about the life that I have. I am so fortunate for my health. I'm so fortunate my right arm works, my right leg works, and I can talk, and I can do all these amazing things. I'm so happy that I live in the United States of America where we have more freedom than any pe people ever did. And you just keep on going and going and talking those general terms, and pretty soon, hey, that subject is, is gone, and you have good feeling. If you just feel good during the day, all the things you, you desire, are going to come to you. Everything that you ask for will come to you. Okay. Before we begin, I want to help us understand the proper way of breathing during the, um, and this is different than what we had gone through, during uh, the joy shop. And so when you're in the joy shop, you want to begin and I want all of you to make noise, okay? Because you guys never make noise and you're gonna start making noise now, okay? I want you to breathe in, nice deep breath in, and then and blow it out. And just, and then get into a rhythm, just get real soft, because what you wanna do is you want to align with the breath of God. You have a natural way to breathe, and our natural way of breathing, we really don't even remember because when we were born, basically, we were spanked, and that was our first breath, and we said, shit, I don't want to do much of this too much. <laughs> and uh, and so, so, but there is a natural rhythm within you, and so just think about breathing really deeply in, and then breathe out. Are you making noise? <laughs> good, good. Not quite so much noise. <laughs> and Bradley, it's blown me over. <laughs> and that uh, it's good to laugh too. And then, um, uh, and so, and again, yeah. Just a nice deep breath in, and as you breathe in, say to yourself, allow. So you're breathing in, God's allowing. And you're just being filled with allowing. And then as you breathe out, just say release. And think about what you're releasing is resistance. So breathe in, allowing. And then breathe out, re release, resistance. And that we are now going to enter the vortex of our feelings where we are feeling good, where we are aligned with all there is, with our source, with God. And so we get relaxed and start at the top of our head and relax our head, our forehead. Relax your brain, relax your ears, your jaw, your eyes, relax your tongue, your throat, your shoulders. Just let any resistance flow down your arms and right out your fingertips. Breathe in. And just get into the rhythm and get with your alignment with God. Relax your lungs, your chest. Relax your heart and just start to open your heart. Open your heart wide. We no longer have to defend anything. We were each born worthy. 
and we were each born to create our own experience. We don't have to fear, defend, offend anything. We can open up our heart now. It's okay. Open up your heart to this good world, to this loving world, to the loving people and your partners in this world. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax your stomach, relax all of your organs, relax your hips, and your thighs, and your knees, and calves, and ankles, and let any resistance now just run down your body. Run down your body and out your feet. And now as you breathe in, I want you to breathe in allowing. And as you breathe out, I want you to relax yourself tenfold. Just get very relaxed. And let these words be your words. And let these words penetrate your mind, your heart, your soul. And let you feel good. That we know we were made in the image and likeness of God. That we were born free. We were born to grow, and we were born to have joy in this life. We were born worthy, and we are worthy. And we are so grateful to be here on this earth, this planet, to be able to have this contrast that helps us to sharpen our clarity on what we desire. And when we see things we don't want, we kiss it, we bless it. We resist no evil, for evil is only thoughts of what we don't want. That is all that evil is. And we kiss it and we go to now a burning desire of what we want. And what we want is we do want the prize of joy. And the path there is an emotional path where we feel good. And we now commit ourselves to having good feeling thoughts on the subjects we choose. And the first subject that we choose is our health. And for us to have good feeling thoughts and then feel good that we now ask that we have a healthy body, that we ask right now for the energy, for the intelligence, for the love of God to go into our body, every cell of our body, and purify it and cleanse it. And we ask that our mind be clear and have clarity of the things that we desire and to be aware of the presence of the non-physical, of the non-seen, to be aware of the presence of the Almighty that is working on our behalf. We are so grateful for our good health. And by us having good health, that we show others the path for them to have good health. And as we have more energy and as we're feeling better, as we're looking good, feeling good, that we create even more health. And we just love this universe that as we think upon something, it gets better and better. And so we think upon our health, and we know that this, from this moment forward that our health is getting better. That we pick our next subject, and that is for us to sell 
over $700,000 of real estate per month. And that we love that thought. We embrace that thought. We feel what it feels like to stand in the presence of selling every month over $700,000 of real estate. It is easy, it is fun. We are enjoying ourselves. We're helping others, we're serving others. And we're enjoying the money that now flows easily to us. We now go to a state of relief, of ease. And we go into the flow of life, this abundant flow of life that is here for us. And all we need to do is emotionally allow it in by thinking good, feeling thoughts. And we feel so good about the money that helps us to give us even more freedom, to help us become more than we already are, to help us be do and have all the things of our desire. We just love this life in that we are now at one with God. We have reached the, the place where all of our desires are as we feel good right now, as we realize that God is on our side, that there is nothing but good in this life and we now allow this good to flow freely to us and through us. Then we just think of these wonderful subjects of our good health, of our thriving business. We think of the good subject of our wonderful relationships, how we are the attractors of everything. And so we attract wonderful and inspirational referral partners that regularly give us wonderful referrals into higher end priced homes that just keep on coming and coming and coming. We love that this life is just getting better and better for us. We love that our relationships are, are more deep and meaningful than they've ever been with our loved ones, with our family. We love that we're protected, that we feel right now this light of God that's around us, that protects us, that keeps us safe and whole, and that helps us to be able to go out and make decisions and to allow our cups to fill up with the intelligence, with the all-knowing of God Almighty as God works on our behalf with the how. And as we just determine the subject and the good feelings around those subjects. And we thank you for attracting these ideal clients that are motivated, that love us, that, that are, have good credit, that are qualified, that, that, are, that make a quick decisions, that flow easily with all my closings just happening gracefully, that I just love the way life is, the way that I am now creating this, my experience and the experience that I want. No longer am I going to think about what I don't want because I just get more of that. Instead, I'm going to continue to think about what I want. And right now in this moment that I call the angels in and call your angels into the room and feel their love, feel their support, feel how good it is to be known that you have access to tap in to this brilliance that can provide you the path, the easy path, the abundant path, the path that you have dreamed for, that they shall take you there with the thoughts, with the ideas. They shall clear your path and open up the doors of opportunity to provide each one of us everything that we have desired. We now let down our guard. We now know that there is plenty of everything. That as our desire goes out to God, that God just makes more of whatever our desire is. Makes more houses, more prospects, more clients, more whatever we want, more happiness, more joy. That God just makes more and more, which means 
There is always plenty of everything. There is plenty of abundance and prosperity, plenty of money, plenty of homes, plenty of closings, plenty of good times. We allow now the good times to roll into our life. That we ask for these bullet trains from heaven to come right into our hearts now, right into our experience now to unload their cargo that's filled with all the cars and homes and happiness and joy and closings and clients and thriving business and thriving health, that this is who we are. We now stand tall and we are so grateful to be in this essence, to be at this place right now where all our desires are and that we now call forth our desires and they come into our experience. And we breathe in the breath of God. Oh, and it feels so good. We feel aligned and at one with our Creator. And now we go out today and we co-create. And we just identify what we want. And God then brings it to us. That we are so grateful for this beautiful life. We're grateful for our good health. We're grateful for selling over $700,000 of real estate per month. We're grateful for our loving relationships that just get better and more meaningful and deeper. That we're grateful for our wonderful babysitters. Those babysitters just are super. They take care mm -hmm. of our children and they are great. In fact, every person that now comes into my experience, I only look for the good in them and then I see the good in them. And by shining my spotlight on their good, that it then expands. And it expands within them where not only do I see those good aspects of them, but other people start seeing the good aspects of them. That's the type of creator that I am. I'm so grateful for being here, of understanding who I really am. And I thank my angels, our angels, for being here, for guiding us, for loving us, for supporting us, for showing us the path of ease, the path of abundance, the path of joy. It is all right now here for us. And we give thanks for this. And this is now done. Now allow the good life to be ours. Amen. And I invite you back into the room. And when you're ready to open up your eyes and let this good life in. <laughs>